down here at the big, big rally, fighting for common sense and decency, fighting for our women and children, fighting for the, the most defenseless in our society, keeping HB2 in place. And I'm here with one of the greatest Christian warriors that I've ever met in my life, Dr. Gabe Rogers. He's God's man. And Gabe, would you just speak to us Amen. about Amen. what's going on today? Brother? What a pleasure it is to stand with Bishop Wooden and the other dignitaries, believing God that HB2 will stay in place. Amen. We're praying for our government, our governments. We are praying against the wickedness of today, knowing that on Christ the solid rock we stand and all other ground is sinking sand. We're here today rallying in support of what God is doing in the state of North Carolina. We believe God for his best, and that is the safety of our women and children. Listen, I told, I told the members yesterday, yes, I told uh, our church board, when I want to talk, have a conversation with myself, yes, sir. when I want to talk to me, I call Dr. Gabe Rogers. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, one of the greatest mentors in the world, he taught me. Oh, my God. So don't get it twisted. Thank We're God. We're fighting for God's truth. Yes, sir. Bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce our next speaker. I've been sitting beside him, and he is raring to go, so y'all are in, in for a real treat. He is a dynamic individual, a powerful communicator, the pastor of a congregation of over 3,000 in southeast Raleigh, and the leader of many, many more. Please welcome Bishop Patrick Wooden, Sr. of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Thank you, Dr. Beatty, for hosting this great rally today. Ladies, I'm going to ask you for just one second to allow me to speak to the fellas and speak to the men first. Will you do that? Yeah. I want to hear all the guys give me a great big yell. Yeah. Now listen, men, just as in the uh, LGBTQ community, there are transgendered men who claim that they hear voices that tell them that they are women. Well, we men, we hear a voice in our head also. And the voice that we hear is protect our women and children. of our women and our daughters and our sons do we have here today and we're grateful for HB2 that gives us the right to keep our women protected. Number two, ladies join me in this. Secondly, in my hand, I have 21 pages of sexual assaults and rapes and, and murders that have taken place across this country where women have been abused in bathrooms by predators. HB2 protects our women. Thank you, governors. Thank you, legislators, for passing this law. Also, there is a switcheroo going on. We peace-loving North Carolinians. We are being portrayed as bigots, racists. We are being portrayed as haters when we actually are not the aggressors, they are trying to make our women and children victims. They are the aggressors. They are trying to step on uh, uh, a territory that does not belong to them. And I want to rally everybody and say, despite what the media says, let's stand our ground. Let's not be shaken. Let's not be afraid. We are right. Let me say this. Look at me. Look at me. At my cocoa tan, God made color. How dare anybody, how dare anybody to compare the fight for civil rights for people who look like me, whom God made. How dare you compare that fight to people who are going to laboratories having ungodly things done to their bodies, it is not the same fight. God bless America. God bless America. God 
Tessa! 